Women, telling a man that you want a relationship and you don't want to play games works just as well as a man telling you that he just wants to fuck you casually and he doesn't want to play games. So I came across this video from Dr. Orion Taraban, Psychex, and what he's talking about here is women that use the phrase, I don't want to play games, I'm not into playing games, I'm tired of playing games, in their dating profile or in just general communication with you when you first meet them. So I'm going to play for you about a minute of what he says. I got a real kick out of how he handled it, and then I've got just a couple of things to add to it. So this is a statement that I've heard many, many times over the course of my dating history. And it's my understanding that it almost always comes from the woman because it almost always precedes some kind of request. It usually goes like this. Hey, I know what I want and I don't play games. I'm looking for a committed relationship. If you are not prepared to give me what I want, then please do not waste my time. I've got no time for games. The women who do this generally believe that by doing so, they are dating intentionally. And just for the record, there is no problem with dating intentionally. It's a good strategy for a lot of women. The problem is going about dating intentionally so stupidly and inelegantly that it's functionally impossible to generate the desired result. And this is not only because you're asking for something extremely valuable. We're not inclined to give this to you because on some level, we know that I don't play games is bullshit. To demonstrate why this is bullshit, allow me to tell you how I would normally handle this situation. When a woman would tell me, hey, I'm looking for a serious relationship and I don't want to play games. My general response was something like, thank God, I am so glad you said that. Personally, I am done with dating. I am ready to go down to the courthouse tonight for the right woman. So tell me, what's your offer? And without fail, this question would always be met with complete and utter incomprehension. What do you mean? What's my offer? And I would explain, oh, I thought you just wanted to get down to it. <laughs> I get that you want a serious relationship. You were very explicit, message received. So what I want to know is what do I get in return? Like, what would I specifically get for giving you what you specifically want? And I have to say, I find it really hot that you're willing to dispense with all the foreplay and pretense and just tell me what I have to gain from this transaction. Like, I am tired of the games too. So, and I'm sure you can all guess how well that went over. Not once, not once have I ever received an answer to that question. All right, so right off the bat, I just love how we handled it. Just base, basically saying, sounds great. Good. I love, I love to hear it. We're simpatical here. So let me know what you're offering since she's already you know, asking for a full-time serious relationship. Now, to you ladies, you might hear that and say, that's not exactly what she's saying, but that doesn't matter. It's what the man interprets, it's how we interpret it. That's what matters. Now, his point about how when a man hears or sees, we don't want to play any games, uh, that that is like a man saying to a woman, I'm just here for sex and getting the same type of reaction. I would suspect that many women don't understand that while most of you men are going, yep, that, that sounds about right. And this has more to do with our reactions as men and women and how it differs. And usually we look at the other one and go, how did you get, how did you get that from that? Right? There's, there's a lot of miscommunication and misunderstanding between men and women. Now, the other part, and this is kind of what I'd like to add to it. He touches on it a little bit, but what I can tell you is this. As a man, this is what I know. When a woman says, I'm tired of playing games, some men are going to hear that as, I'm tired of playing games, which means I have been playing games, which means I'm pretty easy to run a game on because I've been falling for the game and now I'm tired of playing the game. And men are going to tell you, like he says, they're going to tell you what you want to hear. They're going to say, oh no, I'm, I'm just looking for a relationship too. I'm, I'm looking for the same thing you are. But they're not. 
they're going to hear that I'm tired of playing games as a challenge, and you will get a certain sub subsection of men that are going to contact you simply as a uh, as a, a challenge to themselves to see if they can get you to break your boundary by telling them you're tired of playing games. What you're telling them is you've been playing games, which tells a man who wants to play games that you're somebody he could probably run a game on. You see what I'm saying? It's not much different than if you were to have a man say, I just want sex. You know, there's not a lot of women out there that just want sex, but a woman's going to say, oh, okay, let me see if I can take this guy and turn him around. He just wants sex. Let me, let me try to convince him that he really wants a relationship. It's, it's just, again, it's in the way that men and women communicate and the way we define words and everything like that. Now, his way of dealing with it, um, I hope I hope that I intuit his sarcasm the right way or intuit interpret. <laughs> I hope I interpret his sarcasm the right way. I don't think he was giving that late uh, that reaction um, with a genuine expectation of having a lady take that as a positive, right? I think he knew the reaction that he was going to get from women when he was like, "Sure, let me know what you're offering." I think the he. he he did that to prove a point. But, guys, and what I can tell you, I can say the same thing to both of you, men and women. As soon as you say, I'm tired of playing games, I don't want to play games, it's too serious. It's too much too soon. Now, your intent, ladies, may be understandable, maybe totally fine. You've had a couple bad experiences and now you're ready to have a more serious relationship. But, if you've had those couple bad bad experiences, if you have not healed from those experiences, you are likely then to say something like, I'm tired of playing games. And that kind of tells us men that you haven't really taken any responsibility for how your previous relationship went and you're just blaming it on the previous man playing games. You're not going to attract the type of man that you're looking for. And in terms of men... If you want a man that is actually genuinely looking for a serious long-term relationship, be fun. Be lighthearted, be feminine, be soft, be fun. If you come at a man serious and strong, be like, I'm not playing any games, you're not going to uh, collect on that bounty the way that you might expect you would.